Hi, I'm Mike Jotsky. Welcome to GeoPractice Technical Web Series. Today we're going to be talking about our EnviroWall, the Living Wall System. It's a system that's been developed, which is made for retaining walls, but it allows you to plant plants into it, which gives you the nice green option. So the design is pretty straightforward. You're just alternating the blocks as you build them, which gives you the void space to be able to allow you to put plants in it. Um, you're also able to run irrigation systems through it while you're building it. Um, so it's really, really intuitive, really easy to do. Anyone can do it. So here's a picture of a uh, better picture of what the blocks actually look like. So you can see the front uh, solid face, um, which there's a double wall there. So that front face actually, um, even though the plastic is UV stabilized, that front face also provides more uh, UV um, protection to the actual structural support behind it. So these will last a very long time in the field. As you see, everything else is pretty much open in the back. Um, you can add in the rail systems that you can see in the bottom right hand corner there. Um, those are being used if you are just using um, fill. Um, if you're using a compost sock, then you would not install those and you'd run the compost sock through those. So um, here's a quick picture of a project that has been uh, completed a long time ago, actually. Um, but you can see that you, you can build nice curved walls. You can, um, you can taper it off to be able to contour into the existing uh, ground. And you can plant all kinds of beautiful plants inside of it. Um, they did a couple different uh, varieties throughout the whole wall system there. Um, but really beautiful wall that is completely blended into uh, its environment. So really, really easy um, to install. Um, as you can see here, um, as we get into the, the, the options of how to install it, you basically have three steps. You have to do your foundation, you have to stack them and fill it, and then you plant them. So the foundation is important, of course, with any retained wall, you have to make sure that you have a solid foundation. Um, you don't have to pour a concrete foot or anything, um, unless you're in you know really swampy soil or something then you might need to, but usually you can get away with just putting down a couple inches of um, some kind of compactable material, compact it. Um, usually you are going to cut it in a little bit just to make sure that that bottom's not going to want to shift out on you. Uh, and then you're going to compact it in. You can use a plate compactor like the one that's pictured here, or you can use a hand tamp. It's whatever you have available to you. Uh, next step is just adding those extra layers in. Um, and then filling them in. Those blocks are nine inches apart at max. So once you get your bottom one set, you just pretty much alternate them up, um, you know, double check for level um, ever so often. Um, but yeah, then you're just compacting them in there. Both of these pictures here, they just use loose dirt. And so we're using the side rails um, and filled them. But uh, here you can see that they were using the compost salt socks. So they just um, laid them in there um, and uh, still pretty much the same outcome either way. It's just personal preference as to which way you want to build it. Then once it's installed, you simply add your plants. But you do want to make sure that you're selecting a variety that's going to be sustainable in the climate you're at. Um, so talk to a local nursery, find something that's going to work. Uh, you can plant anything you want in it. Um, any type of bushes, grasses, plants, um, Probably not trees, just because you're going to have some root issues um, down the road. Um, small trees wouldn't necessarily be an issue, though. So, really straightforward um, on how to install them. And another really great aspect of these is how easily they are to package and maneuver. We're able to put 450 of those on one pallet. If those were, which gives you 450 square foot of face um, on your slope or on your wall which if that was uh, doing the same amount of area with uh, a solid wall block, you'd be at about eight to nine tons of material. Um, so a lot less expensive to ship, a lot easier to move around, and you can move these by hand. You can unload them completely by hand. They weigh three pounds per block. So pretty much anyone can move them around. You don't need big equipment to get it around. So especially if you're in a um, place where you have limited access um, in a backyard or something where you can't get any type of machinery in, you can just simply walk them in, use a wear bell, fill them up, and uh, go from there. So just to kind of review, um, 
it is completely UV stabilized. It's going to last you for a very long time. It's super easy to install. Um, no special tools are required. Um, and it's great for the environment. It's a low carbon footprint. You're being able to add in a lot more uh, green uh, to the to the surrounding area. Um, so you can definitely get LEED cert certifications for these if you need it. Um, and it is designed to be able to install your irrigation system right into it. So you're going to be able to keep a nice green wall year round no matter what. Now, Geo Products is the manufacturer of these products, but we also have a full technical support department. So if you'd like help designing something, we'd be more than happy to get you some drawings or help you with that process. So look us up on, at geoproducts.org and we'll be uh, happy to help you there. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.